Hey team, do you want to see how I sped up this cycle time? Drastically. Well, I wouldn't say too drastically, but we got an order for about 3,500 parts that we're getting ready to run now. I changed some tool positions where I go to index. On one of the shorts or videos <coughs> I made in the past couple weeks, a lot of people said that. Change your uh, approach, not your approach position, change where you wrap it to before your index. I love that idea. I've done it for years. Here's what I did, check it out. So here we got our rough turn. Right here, we're roughing it. And before, I may have gone home, there I come out about six or eight inches. Index around to my finisher. Boom. Come out to X5, Z5 index, now I'm threading. I'll try that same thing here, come out. This is a non-standard thread. I do not have a topping insert. I had to return the major. Come back and groove, boom. Come back. Bam, re-thread, boom. And I do the same thing here on the subside with my ID tools. Here's my rough bore. Go my rough and finished bore. Come out, boom, index. Pop in that thread. Get a nice view here. Index, go right to my bore. Deburr the thread. Come out, re-index, re-thread. Boom, done. So the idea behind that is quite obvious. Instead of going all the way home, I come out as little as I need to. And I could even get closer, but what I didn't show is I'm drilling at the same time as I'm turning. So my drill almost hit I came out to XZ3, my drill almost hit, I had to make that a little bit further out before I indexed the tool. Took I think 25 seconds off the cycle time by 3,000 parts, you do the math, signing out.